I don't know if I'm talking to you or your disease anymore. I've tried for so long to pick you apart and love you separately, but I can't because you are two. And I can never figure out the logic behind some of the shit that you do. And in order to stay in a child's place, I guess it was never meant for me to. Your actions are a beautiful juxtaposition. You never did learn how to cope with the death of your own mother. That's why you're in this position. Avoiding commitment to repairing this mother-daughter relationship. Maybe if things were different, I would have came home to you instead of a furnished house. I kept trying to shout over this echo and all of this emptiness. That's probably why I still talk so loud, Mom. You are the most avoidable question. How do you tell someone that you aren't curable, that your undeniability is not treatable, and that this is a lifetime suffering caused by life's tragedies overload on anecdotes like their <coughs> antidotes draw back just enough before it's considered an overdose comatose yourself inside it. I've seen you use your body as a scientific experiment, and I hope I do not affect your chemical balance. Having to produce a trigger warning before every conversation, before I could ever say sorry, DHS was standing on our front doorstep again. Eighth grade, all I had was a best friend who cried with me named Alexis and a Tommy Hilfiger jacket that covered up my explanation. Oh, 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 nothing happened. I, I just ran into a pole. Oh, nothing happened. I just ran into a weapon and didn't know any defense mechanisms on how to love a schizophrenic bipolar parent, on how to love her because she is not her disease, on how to love her even when her mood swings don't allow me to. The snickers and rumors of middle school hallways only made me more self-conscious. I wish mentally ill mothers and fathers came with a warning label, an instruction book, maybe even an emergency kit of prayers that silently slipped themselves into the middle of their manics. <laughs>